Everybody give a nice, warm welcome. Okay, I got my Kleenex in case I get emotional. Um, first and foremost, I'm thankful to the Lord for all the blessings that He has given me in my lifetime. And I know that there are blessings that He has given me that I am not aware of, but I give thanks for all that He has done for me. Secondly, I'm thankful for my husband of 53 years. <laughs> Next, I'm thankful for our two sons, Alan and David. And lastly, I'm thankful for our new granddaughter, Lucy. Mm. And that's it. That was a pretty good one. Yeah. Most important, I'm thankful for after three and a half years of searching for the Lord, I found it. So I got baptized on the 29th of May. Okay. And we are so glad they found us. And I, I find uh, Tex and Gidget's testimony uh, just such a wonderful reminder of God's grace that you can go through a great deal of your life. And how uh, Tex always, we just see him, uh, as he said, he was searching. But that's God drawing him. And and I have never seen or rarely seen somebody who has grown such had such a hunger. So many times when people come to the Lord later in life, uh, you don't see that kind of real passion. So, man, it's uh, truly inspirational. It's wonderful to see what God's done in both of your lives. And we celebrate the birth of your first grandbaby with you. It's wonderful, wonderful. We're going to do something that they do in traditional churches. We're going to do a responsive reading. Remember those? How many grew up in the... I just need to get my responsive reading. All right, here we go. And you're going to see some parts that will come up here on the screen that uh, that we all do together and some that just the ladies do and some the men do. And I will play the role of the worship leader, all right? Uh, this comes from the Psalms, Psalm 50, Psalm 30, Psalm 97, Psalm 106, Psalm 136, and Psalm 105. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Sing praise to the Lord. Everyone, you as holy ones, are that's out there? And give thanks. Let's try this again. All right. Ron, reverse it. Go back to the first thing. There we go. Thank you. I thought maybe we were on a different thing. Okay. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Sing praise to the Lord, you his godly ones. And give thanks to his holy name. Ladies. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, 
for his loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the God of God, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name, men. Make known his deeds among the people. Everybody, sing to him. Sing praises to him. Speak of all his wonders. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of those who seek the Lord be glad. Ladies, seek the Lord Everyone, remember his wonders which he has done, his marvels and the judgments uttered by his mouth. He is the Lord our God. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. And they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Now we're going to sing that wonderful Thanksgiving hymn, We Gather Together. Um, for seasons. 
Um, we actually, we moved back to Vegas two years ago today. We uh, arrived we here. And um, the first uh, what was about seven, eight months, we kind of floated around between churches. And, um, and then we just, uh, I saw Pastor Bill from the 700 Club. Yes. And um, we were looking for the church. And I said, and this is, this is terrible, but I said, he was an entertainer. It's not going to be boring. So. <laughs> Oh, and and he didn't fail. He's awesome. <laughs> and um, I just want to say something to you. And like since since we were married, you know, we moved around a lot um, with work and everything. And we went to a lot of awesome churches, a lot of wonderful people. And I've told this to you before. I have never, and I'm not saying this lightly, I've never felt so at home as I do here at Four Seasons. Amen. From the first day we came, I knew more people's names and people knew us and. Um, and then we were gone for two weeks because we went on vacation for our anniversary, but we, we couldn't wait to get back. And um, and I just want to say, I want to thank all of you for making us feel so welcome and, and getting us involved like at Sunday school and we're involved with, you know, ladies' ministry. So I'm just really thankful for this flag. Way too many things to be looking forward to, to list here, but uh, just a few of them uh, is um, obviously uh, salvation and, and grace by God. It's just uh, amazing that uh, uh, God reaches out to each one of us individually, reached out to me, and uh, wants me to uh, be with Him. And I don't take that lightly. And Susan mentioned that uh, she was blessed to be uh, brought up in a Christian home. I was not um, blessed with that. Uh, my home life when I was a kid was, was somewhat chaotic and all. And uh, God saw fit to uh, lead me to Susan at the right time. And a quick little story is that we actually went to uh, UNLV together. And I remember her in at least one of our classes. We're the same age. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and God saw fit to put us on opposite sides of the classroom. <laughs> and we graduated. She went off to grad school and I, in uh, Virginia. I stayed here. Um, we started my, my job and career. Uh, after grad school, she came back at the urging of her friends. She took an apartment that was upstairs and a landing at the top of the stairs that was next to the landing, that on the same landing, that I lived in an apartment. And that's how we were brought together by God. And uh, it was through God that, uh, through Susan, that God led me to Him. Uh, so I am so thankful for that, and that the person who actually led me to the Lord is a person I spent most of my life in. the other things, um, trials and difficulties that uh, uh, God has led us through, that, that God has allowed us to go through, and through those, the strengthening of our marriage and our walk in God, and we're going through those right now, uh, and uh, facing um, difficulties or, or issues or all of that, just, just uh, things that uh, we know that if we stop complaining and let God lead us through them, that will grow even further. Amen. So thank you for that. Amen. And uh, um, just once again, our church family, um, just the Bible study on Wednesday night and uh, the, uh, the men's group uh, on uh, Saturdays uh, monthly. And just uh, uh, the fact that, that, that we have all of you that, that we look forward to Sundays. We do. So we, we, are, we are thankful to, uh, for that. And uh, we just give praise to God. And uh, we are, again, so blessed that you're part of the family. We're blessed that all of you are part of this family. Uh, at this time, we're going to joyfully give an offering, right? If I could have the ushers come forward. And uh, following the regular offering, this little basket will go around. If you'd like to put in anything for the water hoving ladies, and again, that usually costs our church uh, twelve, thirteen hundred dollars or up. It might be a few, little more than that this year, but we do make sure every one of those ladies has a, a gift card so that they can buy things for uh, their loved ones. So, thank you very much. If you'll join me in prayer, Lord, our hearts are truly filled with gratitude.
to live in this nation for the foundation, the heritage that we have, Lord, for those who came before us, Lord, truly as stepping stones and literally gave their life so that we could enjoy what we have now. Lord God, help us for the times we whine and complain with all we have. And forgive us, Lord, for that. And help us, Lord, to be people who truly worship you in gratitude. Lord, I want to pray for Pastor George's father. Who I understand is in the hospital. Lord, I ask you to be with him and with uh, George's precious mother. And Father, we, we continue to simply ask for that miracle of healing for him. And I pray, Lord, you comfort him. And I also pray for Fran and Shirley Pop, Lord, who are home today with illness, and others in the congregation, Lord, that uh, may also be uh, suffering with something in their bodies, that, that the great physician would touch them and heal them. Lord, through this week, again, I ask that you would help us to realize the sinfulness of not looking up, holding our heads up, and blessing you for all that you give us. We thank you, Lord, for these gifts today. We ask that you multiply them and use them to further your kingdom. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you'll join me together, we're going to uh, pray the model prayer that Jesus taught us to pray when he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.